friends. Oh, sir, here. Let's talk with him. We're here with Michael. He's an INFJ that I confidently assert is an INFJ, having typed him myself. And he's also somebody who was typed by DSP as being F-E-N-E? N-E-F-E. N -E? N -E -E. Talking, talking with famous people. Any Effie. Okay. So, right. of course, that's not actually a possible type. But um, what is possible, and I've seen myself, is that INFJs display as a range of degrees of extroversion, depending on their particular approach to social engagement. I'm not quite sure how he would type you as an any dom. Except to note that, of course, any intuition dom is going to be pretty good at the other kind of intuition. So, I think it's that the definitions are very different there than here. I mean, here kind of goes with the cognitive functions in general. There, the idea of an NE is someone that gathers concepts. <laughs> so so the, the act of gathering many concepts is what defines any. Uh, according to them, and when you organize, when you organize w w into one concept, then that's an I. So it's this gather versus organize thing going on, which is totally different than the cognitive way that any and an I are, you know. Do you think that what it's doing is gathering lots of concepts? I mean, I can do that. I mean, the, the, the thing, but the thing is that NI totally can do that. NI is all about kind of taking in many different things and then collapsing it. It's that verb that I have a problem with for extroverted intuition is the gathering notion. Okay, so what does NI purportedly do? If Orga it, they, they, organize, organize they organize into one concept, single concept versus gathering many concepts. Sensory, you know, uh, sensing is uh, gathering facts versus organizing facts. So that's actually how they do it. So where do the concepts come from? From consolidating the facts into a larger gestalt, I would think, or, or, or some pre-organized theory that has, that's already been out there. If there's a model that just has gathering existent concepts, gathering existent facts, organizing existent concepts, and organizing existent facts, then where do new concepts and facts come from? Right. There's no creation involved in that model. They would say that NI is creating a new concept by gathering many different facts and putting it together. Now, the, now, how does NE work even in that framework? I don't even know. A better explanation for it is that extroverted intuition is the process of filling in negative space, more or less, around it, existent concepts. So every existent concept implies its negation, for example. You know, let's talk about this new kind of of emotional interaction that I've observed between people. Uh, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to call it glad backing, where each party kind of pats each other on the back and goes, hey, 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 <laughs> you're so good. I like you. You're a great guy or whatever. It would imply that which is not glad backing, right? Yes. So, so now we've got two states automatically, glad backing and right, non-glad backing. And then there's spaces in between and around those things, perhaps. There's things that are sort of glad backing. And so uh, right. in, any does work in the things that are outside of the singular that is presented, the negative space. Whereas NI takes... In order, in order to create something new? In order yes. to generate a new possibility? Got it. Yes. Okay. And it, because it's trying to attain novelty, which is to say... Yep. Well, you say this is, well, what's not that then? And that's basically True. 
that's basically any's approach and of course any right. any si combines together to form disparate connections between things that are personal in my memory and universal in i so that that combines within the negative space to create new things that are both not something that exists like so, concept like a larger a larger holistic or something like that. I, I think yeah and i think the basic the engine behind it is the negative space thing plus the fact that there's a a particular is a particularizing impact of combining personal experience with any truth oh i see that's where the si fits in yeah like say say like a few a couple of different words just pick them randomly uh bathroom uh uh triangle let's go with bathroom so i remember an instance when i was a little kid where after i pooped i lit a, a match to make the smell go away put it in the trash can the whole trash can caught on fire and we had this big black oh my God. mark up the side of the wall right okay so let's say i were um making a poem or something and somebody prompted me with with bathroom oh I, oh I, you probably would do a great job with this stuff. then i do a I poem do about about that probably right and right. so i'd take a universal topic gig a particularist and maybe i'd link back into that story some like Take away metaphor about the nature of bathrooms or some some sort of like. I actually, I actually think you've done that with your March Madness song. Yeah, you, you know, I mean, you know, I, I, that that song predates the March Madness, though. That's the thing. I didn't make that song for the March Madness. That was just me going. Or maybe that's what you're right. saying. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It, had, it had something to do with Ken, and uh, you heard whisper shout or right. something like. Right? Yeah. I don't know the I don't know the exact details of it, but uh, all of a sudden it just. You brought it together, and it, and you kind of brought in sort of a basketball theme to it in this weird Harlem Globetrottery kind of way. That that's an excellent ni link there. I hadn't thought about that. There is a Harlem oh, really? Globetrottery quality to yeah. it. That's absolutely correct. Um, I, I definitely picked up the. That's the, kind of the opposite direction of the way it would normally go, right? So normally I'd have an idea like a March Madness, like Type Police theme song is the opposite. I have the the individual experience and then it, which is to say oh, i have i have the 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 universal idea which is like the the show concept and i need the particular theme song you need the theme song right but the so the ni gives me the the word concepts the basic general gist of it and then the si or just i guess the any just sort of runs with it and just fills in the blanks you know Sort of S I N E N I fills in the blanks, and then I got a theme song. And this, in this instance, I didn't want to make a theme song, so I searched my S I. Well, which of the existing objects might serve as a theme song? And then my N I would, I guess, kick in and say, "This one is correct." <laughs> Let's get, let me get us back on topic. You are, I would say, in general, you fall into the more extroverted category of I N F J. Would you agree with right. that? Right. Uh, the interesting thing is anybody with an extroverted tool function, the reason why MBTI calls them, calls you a judger, even though you're actually a perceiver, is because right. because when interacting Dominant with the world, you're, you're going to typically interact with this extroverted function. But the thing about FE, especially in INFJs, is INFJs do the kind of FE that works for them. Right. And, and if you can pull off a certain extroversion successfully and have people like that extroversion, then that's what you, that's the strategy you're going to take. It, it's just the introversion is sure. more safe, but there are safe ways of being extroverted as well. So can you talk a little bit about what goes through your head as your using your tool function in real time such as now and how that how you what are you thinking about when you are talking and extroverting in general i mean a lot has to do with uh, trying to fit into a situation or trying to not organize the context but kind of see what the 
interactional context is between myself and the people who I'm talking to. So when you see that, do you think maybe I should put one of those as a mustache as well? Once in a while, I might do that just for the hell of it. But but generally, generally, I'm probably going to play it safer. Do you think other people in your life in general would call you extroverted or say this guy is an extrovert probably based on the colloquial understanding of the word? I I think it's actually somewhere in the middle to tell you the truth. I feel like I've got that uh, uh, ambivert thing going on, but that just means I'm shifting. You know, I, I'm shifting from one introverted function to one extroverted function. You're not the one who's going to say, "Come on, Judy, let's us no. start dancing. Let's let's us start dancing, and then everyone else will follow suit." No, I, I and I actually have a lot of trouble initiating at at certain times. For, you know, yeah, exactly. Do you like to dance? I, that is not one of my favorite things, actually. <laughs> I, I I kind of suck at dancing. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, have, have you tried dancing party dance? Are you familiar with dancing party dance? Dancing party dance? No, I've never heard it in my life. It's a song that teaches you a dance. Oh. Yeah, like the Hokey Pokey, for example. I am looking for people, anybody really, and this message goes out to all the viewing audience out there as well. I am looking <laughs> for people to do the dancing party dance on video and send me the clip so I can put together my final music video of it. Dance and Party Dance is the name of this song and instead of learning words you should dance along. If you don't know the dance don't fret about it friend cause dance teaching songs have a long tradition. And the Dance and Party Dance which goes with this song is not a hard dance to do and not too long. First you're walking forward pointed and stuff. Look around now your guns cause it's time to rest and do the axle rows put a dip in your hips clap step it back step it back clap clap down to the foot the dance is on the left first pan it out of view then pan it back correct next to the foot the dance is on the right first you pan it out of view then you pan it back inside look over your shoulder be tugging a kite let it go in the clothes or a fight finally clap your hands Your chest, then slap your chest. Dance and party dance now back at its root. If you need another chance, put this video on loop. First you're walking forward, pointing and stuff. Look around now, wave, pull out your guns. Now walk it backwards, a total four steps. Once there, drop your guns, cause it's time to rest and do the axle rows. By dipping your hips. Clap, step it back, step it back, clap, clap. Now to the foot. The dance is on the left, first pan it out of view, then pan it back correct. Next to the foot, the dance is on the right, first you pan it out of view, then you pan it back in sight. Look over your shoulder, be tugging a kite, let it go in the cold, dark of fight. Finally clap, your hand to your ass, check it one, check it two, then slap your chest, then slap your chest. Dance and party dance is the name of this song And instead of learning words, you should dance along Talking, talking with famous people